since the advent of ChatGPT, I think kind of ChatGPT really mainstreamed chatbots or kind of search you know, AI assisted search engines in a lot of ways. Um, you know, there's been quite a few players in the space, right? But I think not a lot of people have done as good as you guys have and kind of one, uh, you know, building that flywheel, getting so many users, being able to kind of, you know, uh, put yourself on the map as, as kind of a main player in the space. Um, maybe when you think about kind of the perplexity culture, kind of the things that you focused on, um, what are the main principles that you've been focusing on to make sure that you're building a differentiated product that works versus the rest of the, the space? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think there's like uh, several key factors. Uh, in terms of product itself, I think the we wanted to m- make sure from from the beginning that it's it's very simple, it's very easy to use, it's it's very intuitive. That, that's why kind of we also realized like from the beginning, just like chat interface is not uh, what we want to have, and that we kind of like spend a, a, a bunch of time like thinking what it needs to be, and and so like. Uh, from this point of view, even from from that time, we kind of like decided this is going to be one of the differentiating factor. Uh, the other one was uh, simplicity and quality. It's like the the the, the problem is just that, like in general, like problem search engine, like you know, it's it's AI complete, right? So like it, it's it's very hard to and like Google is obviously by far like the best search engine so far, but it, still, you know, there's like uh, certain things that it cannot do. And, uh, and and because this problem is like so monumental, we just decided, okay, so let's just like try to solve this like small piece, but like try to do this as best as possible and, and see how long it's going to take and like where it's going to take us. Uh, and yeah, it turns out it's actually a much harder problem than than we even initially uh, anticipated uh, and, and, and kind of like preserving still that mindset that, you know, let's just uh, do the simplest things, but do them right and, and high quality and, uh, and just keep, keep doing that. And I think uh, in, instead of like trying to maybe uh, go after like many things at the same time and then like do, doing them maybe like not, not, as, not as good. Uh, and because of that, we, we sort of like, okay, so we decided to like what kind of like team we need to assemble. We definitely need to, have people who care deeply about those things. So like care a lot uh, about like a very uh, good infrastructure, care a lot moving fast, care a lot like building things uh, with the high quality and like things that work fast. Uh, Because essentially I think like Google uh, told everybody that like you have to get instant answers. It's just like you you cannot wait. And uh, if we were like especially you know like now that we launched enterprise if you want to like save people time we not only have to provide them very uh, high quality answers but also do this very fast and so uh doing those th- things together it's it's very challenging uh so yeah essentially i think uh kind of uh doing small things but like very deep like go very deep there and like very high quality is, is just like what we're trying to do. And, uh, and I think we, we're going to continue to do that. Yeah. And you mentioned here doing small things, but doing them quickly, doing them high quality. And I think kind of the culture of fast duration and operational excellence at Perplexity even, you know, bleeds out on, you know, when looking at Perplexity, you know, as an outsider myself, I'm looking at, you know, the velocity of features being added, the velocity of new uh, releases, new launches. You know, you mentioned Enterprise. Enterprise was launched yesterday. Maybe walk us through that culture of excellence a bit more in depth. Uh, and maybe what can you attribute uh, as the key success factor behind this culture of excellence, right? When, you know, you're building out the team you're hiring. Uh, yeah, walk me through that as, as a leader of the organization. Yeah, so uh, I think it, it was very important from 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 the beginning is just like to get a uh, get like very strong foundation like core core team. Um, uh, so we you know it's like Arvin and I started and then like we were so happy to have Johnny who who I used to work before and he's like you know this like legendary uh, coder and he was like a world champion. So this guy is just you know does everything very fast and very uh, high quality and 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 so we kind of like decided okay so. Well, let's just uh, uh, try hire slowly, but like try to focus on very good people. And and so like from from the beginning, I think like until maybe when we hired ten or fifteen people, we were actually uh, had this uh, trial period. So it wasn't like a normal interview. We would like you know invite somebody, they would work with us for like a week or like sometimes even longer, 
uh, and then, and then we just you know see if how because it, it's like one thing is to do interviews like you can miss certain things but like when you work with a person for like several days you, it's like very clear and uh, and that even though it was like a time consuming I think it turns out to be a great idea because like the we were definitely were able to like get those like first 10 people who are you know like very trustable like they are aligned on the mission very fast very strong and you know the the, the reasoning behind that was just okay so like those 10 people then gonna bring like each of them is gonna bring like 10 more people and so like if you you, you need to have like a solid foundation and and, and that's like long term basically like, like paid off because those people now like the new people coming this is like already integrated in, in Altarsha we have to move fast there is like there is you, you if you can do something today you have to do it today rather than like doing it tomorrow like next week uh and um to like have this insane pace and momentum is just uh something we and like basically this is like one of the things that i like right now spend a lot of time kind of like maintaining is just like how do we as we get bigger how do we don't lose this momentum because you know uh it's it's a nature like if you stop moving uh, <laughs> you know things uh slowing down yeah yes yeah. so you have to start you, you have to like continue pushing in, in, in my mind you know the most successful companies is just like uh those who like were able to uh prolong this like a lo- lose of velocity as long as possible and then uh because eventually at some it's going to happen like once you become like a super big company um it's just like organizational things become very hard um and so but yeah um yeah we're trying to sort of like push it as far as possible